this. We have to solve all of these quadratic equations, and people kind of forget what quadratic means. It just means that the highest power is 2. In every single one of these equations, the highest power is 2. And we've learned three methods of doing this. We've learned how to factor it and complete the square, and this one says to do it by quadratic formula, but you're never forced to, unless your teacher says you must do it this way. The way I always attack is factoring is fastest. If you can do it, try that first. Try factoring first. And then if that doesn't work, I go to quadratic formula because it's pretty brainless and you just kind of crunch through it and it's just a nice path to go. But quadratic formula comes from, is derived from, completing the square. So you're always welcome to do that as well and it works fine too. And, uh, and sometimes it's really nice when like the things are even. So I'm going to do this one all three ways because because I can. So we'll see this guy here, and it factors. I can definitely find things that multiply to negative 8 and add to positive 2. So v, let's see, plus 4 and v minus 2 multiplies to negative 8, adds to 2, and so v will equal negative 4 for that one, or 2 from that one, from our zero product property, and there you have it. Uh, but if you wanted to, you could also do it with um, completing the square. So let's do it with completing the square just because we can. So it was 2v minus 8 equals 0. Get all this other stuff out of the way. And so completing the square is the only one where you don't want it set equal to 0. So we'll kick the 8 over there and we'll add something that makes that a perfect square because we're going to. So we're going to half and square that middle number. Half of 2 is 1, squared is 1. Add that to both sides. The whole reason I do that is because this is now a perfect square. This is v plus 1 squared. If you were to factor that out, v plus 1 times v plus 1, you would get that. It's always half of that number there that goes there. And that'll equal 9. And then the whole reason we do this is because we can now square root both sides, undo that squaring by square rooting. And so we'll have v plus 1 equals plus or minus a perfect 3 there. And so v will equal negative 1 plus or minus 3. And so v will equal negative 1 plus 3, which is 2, or maybe negative 1 minus 3, which is negative 4. So 2 or negative 4, exactly the same thing we got when we just factored it. So you could also do it, method 3, with quadratic formula, so let's do that, minus 8 equals 0. So uh, we've got it set equal to 0, and the a is the 1, the b is the 2, and the c is the negative 8. And so plugging it into negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all over 2 times a, negative 2 plus or minus the square root this is 4 plus 32. The minus minus makes a plus, so that's plus or minus 36 over 2. And so this is negative 2 plus or minus 6 all over 2. And as soon as that comes out to be a perfect square, that's an indicator that this thing would have factored. It did factor, right? So we go, oh, I missed a factoring or something like that. So it's a uh, negative 2 plus 6 is 4 over 2 or it could be negative 2 minus 6, which is negative 8 over 2. So we're getting 2 or negative 4, the same thing we got when we completed the square, the same thing we got when we factored it. So one question, three ways, factoring was certainly fastest, and so I suggest you try it first. But uh, quadratic formula always works if you just want to go that route. Um, it's, it's nice. And I'll do the rest of these in next.